I'm nervous. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley. I'm a little quiet today because I'm in my bathroom and it's echoing very loud, but the reason I'm nervous today is because I'm going to be cutting face framing layers in my hair. Now this is the first time I have ever done this. Um, now the reason I'm doing this is because my hair just needs a little more shape. Now I cut it to this shorter length about three months ago and I did a really blunt cut which I normally don't do. So it's all one length and right now since it's grown out a little bit it's getting a little too heavy in the front and I think I just need some more shape in the front. Um, so I'm going to try to cut layers today. Now I will say I'm not cutting a lot. I am cutting such a minuscule amount that you probably won't even be able to notice and I'm doing that because your girl doesn't know what she's doing and if I mess up then I don't want it to be too dramatic. Now, I am going to say I am in no way, shape, or form a hairstylist. I'm not. Not licensed. Nothing. Um, I know I've said this before but I almost went to cosmetology school. Almost I got talked out of it and there are most days where I wish I would have went because I still love everything hair. Okay. <laughs> now I feel confident enough that I can do this. Um, I've watched a lot of videos <laughs> to try to help me with this. So first thing I'm going to do is getting the majority of my hair out of the way. I went from the high point of my head down behind my ear. Oops, I forgot these. I don't need these. So I went from the high point of my head down behind my ear and I'm left with these. Now I won't be even taking off this much. This is a lot. Now I will also say when I've seen people do this before or in other videos, they do a middle part. Now I'm not going to be doing a middle part and that might come back to bite me in the butt. But, um, and this is no shade to any of my hairstylists that I've had, but whenever they cut my hair with a middle part when I actually end up then parting it to the side where I want. One side is way more heavy in layers than the other and it's uneven. So my part goes about here every day. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Now this is a lot for me. I don't need this. I'm going to tuck it behind my ears. I don't need this much. I'm tucking it behind my ears. Mm, I should just put it back completely. Hold, please. To add to the reasons I'm doing this, <laughs> myself, is because I live in California and coronavirus is extremely bad still. Salons open back, back up for months and months, which is when I actually got my hair cut, and then now they are closed again. So your girl's not getting her hair cut for a long time, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Like I said, could regret it. Okay, I want to show you this here because I do have a few pieces that are shorter than the rest, but as you can see, it's not that much shorter, and this is it. This is all I have, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay, I want to make this straight. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to bring a lot of this forward. So I combed where my part was, and then I combed a lot of it forward once again. This is just, I'm taking videos that I watched and making it my own, which could be a bad idea. <laughs> now, I'm going to make, try to make this more of a triangular section, so I'm going to go from this part here. I'm just going to try to make the line more even and straight like that. I'm going to tuck this. Uh-oh, I might actually need more hair there. Hmm. I think I want to add this in. Okay. So my line's not perfectly straight and that's okay. This part's killing me here. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I should add some more like that. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Tuck this away. So hopefully you can see a little tri triangular shape here. And this is what I saw in the videos. Now, they said comb it all front, make sure all tangles are out, comb it really straight. They also said don't hold it to your nose like this, because if you do that, 
you're gonna get like a bump here and it's gonna be different lengths, especially with my big ass nose. So, I'm trying to determine where I want my first layer to fall. Now I'm just gonna take these down for reference with the rest of my length. I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go around here. So it's like in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna be that much. But for me, this is a lot of hair at once by myself. So they said to clip a section in the middle. Now for me, since my part is not straight, I'm actually gonna clip it off to the side. So I want to clip it around here. Okay. Just gonna give it more some comb through since I've been messing with it. Okay. Here goes frickin' nothing. Okay. Ah. If you can see this little part here, that's my guide. So now I'm gonna part my hair where I normally do. And hopefully my guide is all on one side, and if it's not, then that's going to be a problem. Yeah, I knew it. Dang it. Okay. Well, that might be a little bit of a problem, but we're, we will try to make it work. Okay. So I'm going to do one side first. I'm going to do this small side first. Now I'm going to bring it over here. Now the problem is, where is my short piece? Hello? There it is. Okay. So I need this guide piece here, this short piece, because that's going to tell me what to do with my layers. So I'm actually going to over direct it in the opposite direction of where it normally lays. And I see my guide here. I know it's hard to see, but I see it's right here. So I'm going to now cut this straight. My hands are straight up, by the way. Oh, okay. Guys, my stomach just jumped. But now, you can see there's a nice line here. Oh my gosh, it worked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like for a second kind of wasn't expecting that to work. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this away and do the opposite side. I don't need that much hair, that's a lot of hair. So let's start slow here. Let's go this way. This is more difficult. Where is my... Okay, before I cut anymore, I'm actually just going to take it all down and part it where I normally do. So I think I can just fill the rest in. Because I'm only cutting them in the front. I'm not touching the back. I'm not touching... Like, I do want layers all throughout, but I don't want to do that on my own. That's not something that I think I can do on my own. Oh my gosh, you guys, look it. I have some layers. Now I just need to kind of... Oh, this one in front is longer. Is it though? Yeah. But at the same time, it goes up. 
I like flip it. I don't know what to do there. That needs to be shorter. As you can see, I'm just doing a bunch of trial and error right now. <laughs> this is bold of me to do right now. I normally don't take risks like this. This is actually a lot shorter than I expected to, I won't even lie. See, do I want to do that though? Like when I, I might have to like blow dry this and then see how it falls, because... You know what, I actually, I, I really might have to do that. I cannot believe I actually just did this and it worked pretty well. I went through and I just blow dried the front parts. Now, obviously, this side is more visible. So there is layers on this side. It's just my hair doesn't want to curl to make it visible like that, but if you can see there's a very thin line here. And then this side is obviously more visible. But... Now it still looks a little weird around here. I think I cut a lot of parts that end up over here really short as well. But that's how my hair normally looks when my hairstylist cuts it too, so I think it just all depends on how it ends up laying. I did go through and try to point cut this a little bit because it looks kind of chunky. Like, looks really chunky to me. Um, but it didn't seem to work that well. Maybe I'll do it again. BRB. Okay. So there are layers here, and once again, I know that this side looks a lot shorter, but when we actually take these two pieces together, they are the same length. Like, they are. So, I think this one, just because it usually goes up and over, which makes it look shorter, and this one just goes here. But, is it the best layering in the world? No. But is it terrible for somebody who's doing this for the first time on their own? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, happy with it. So, as the day goes on, as the days go on, I'm sure I will notice some things that I'll want to clean up, and I'll just go in and I will, you know, cut it dry, but if I need to check in, I'll give you a check in. Hey everybody, Future Haley here, coming at you a few days later after I cut the layers in my hair, so um, I just kind of want to show you how it's looking. I just got out of the shower, my hair is not even completely dry, but it's looking really good. Oh, you should have seen it earlier, it was like perfectly curled in like this, but I mean it's it's looking pretty good. Once again, I still think I cut a little, maybe a little too much right here. But, I mean, if you place it just right, it looks good. And then, like, when I flip it over... Oh, that's not a good flip. Let's try again. <laughs> There's, like, sometimes when I flip it over and the layers just go so smooth down when it's not tangled. Like, look at that. Ooh, boy. It looks really good. And I actually parted it, like more towards the middle the other day and the layers here were like perfectly matched up and it was super nice even though I did cut it more to the side rather than in the middle but I'm really really happy with it and I'm really proud of myself that I did it like I can't believe I did it on my own I cannot believe I did it like honestly <laughs> later that day I had regrets I was sitting on the couch just like what Haley, what did you do? But I think it's going to end up being just fine. So I don't want to say, like, cut your own layers, but at the same time, if you want to, just do your research beforehand. I will post the link to the video that I used down below. So just do your research. Trust your gut. If you feel confident in it, like I did, and it works out, then fantastic. But if not, trust your hairstylist. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Was I really stupid? Or what do you think about it? Be honest. I don't mind. I'll see you guys soon.